Yeah, Tariq, a lot's been made of the defensive line this camp. And um, how have y'all taken that as far as motivation? Just if y'all have heard any rumblings about being the weak link of the defense, do y'all hear that kind of crap? And if you do, I mean, what's your response to it? I mean, we, we really just try to, um, you know, keep all the outside noise away, you know, let, let it go in one ear and out the other. We just try to focus on the bigger picture. We've been focused on, you know, preparing for Florida and getting ready, getting ready for September 26th. How has camp been for you specifically? What have you worked on? And I know they've had you work at defensive end a little, a pretty good bit. So what's that been like for you? I um, mean, it's all about, I feel like me personally, I've had, I've had a, a very good camp. I've been working on, you know, my ball get off, pass rush, you know, little things that could have helped my game out my past two seasons here. So I've been really focused on, you know, ball get off and striking blocks more and, you know, preparing. Go ahead, Parrish. Hey, Dorikas, what positions are you playing in camp? Uh, I mean, right now, mostly defensive end is really my main position. But if we was to, you know, go on pass rush downs, I'd move, I'd bump inside and play the three technique at the tackle position. So, so, so how many of the ends are bumping inside and playing tackle? Maybe more than you. Um, really. Um, Right now they they have um you know Ryder he rotates in at tackle and the end position Quentin Bivens he rotates in at the um end and tackle position so right now it's just really us three so go back to Ben defensive tackle tackle specifically Tariqus what have you seen from those guys who's maybe stepped up and impressed you if anybody I'm um, really I feel like all of them all of them like our whole group as a whole has grown and since we've came a long way from camp since day one. So I'd say I, I, it really can't, you can't just pick one or one of the other because in my eyes, I feel like they all, you know, bring different attributes to the table. Go to Nick. What's it been like to have Sam back? Or how's he impacted the defensive line since he's been back? You know, Sam, Sam brings great energy, great athlete, freak athlete, really. So like having him back is a huge, it's, it's a huge plus for our defense as a whole. And like you know, he you, we all know what he brings to the table. So him him being back on his team is big for us. Go ahead, Nick. How much of an emphasis are the coaches putting on the pass rush this year? And is it different type of pass rush than maybe the last two defensive coordinators you played for? I mean, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, we still focus on you know stopping the run, but you know, getting to the quarterback is always a huge part of defense. The more we do up front, helps uh, we help out better on the back end. So. The more we can pass rush and get to the quarterback, the less pressure we could take off our corners and safeties and linebackers and stuff in coverage. Go back to Parrish. Parrish, you're muted still. There we go. You mentioned Sam a, a minute ago. Is is he able to play fast right now? Do you see that from him, or is conditioning something he's still working through after being away for a while? I mean, yeah, I mean, he's, he's worked, he's been working out, running and stuff on his own while he's been gone because he, he knew that, you know, his time, his time to come back was coming soon. So to me, watching him, like he's still fast, strong, he like he ain't skipped a beat at all. Thanks. We'll go back to Nick. What's it like for you personally not having Josiah and Benito and Austrian in that room and kind of having to step up and be the old guy now? I mean, they, they definitely taught me a lot because me me coming in straight out of JUCO, those are the first guys, you know, that taught me the ropes at the D-line and how it was to play fast in the SEC. So me being around them for so long, well, for two years, going on my third year here, they, they, they taught me a lot that, you know, helped me lead the younger guys and lead the way me and Ryder both being the older guys in the room that played majority of the reps. So, like, me and him together, like we, we work together to bring the younger guys with us. 